Managing documents like contracts and agreements has become a core part of any business workflow. Whether you're a freelancer, small business owner, or working in a team, you need a tool that can handle signing, tracking, and organizing your documents without making things complicated or expensive. So today we are taking a look at Breeze Doc. Let's dive into what BreezeDoc offers, its strengths, limitations, and whether it's the right tool for you. Hey, Shivam here. If you would like to check it out, then you can do so from the link in the description below. BreezeDoc is essentially an e-signature tool. It's designed to help you send documents for signing, keep track of signatures, and managing everything from one dashboard. If you have ever had to deal with the hassle of manually chasing people to sign contracts, this tool is supposed to make that process much smoother. Talking about some of the features, unlike some other platforms that charges per user, BreezeDoc allows you to add as many people as you want to your account. Whether you're working solo or managing a team, this is a useful feature because it keeps costs predictable. If you want your documents to look professional, you can add your company's branding, logos, colors, etc. It's not groundbreaking, but it's nice to have, especially for businesses that deal with clients regularly. One feature I really liked is the ability to send the same document to multiple people at once. It saves time, especially especially if you are handling things like NDAs or event agreements that need to go out to a group. Creating templates for frequently used documents like contracts or clients onboarding forms is another handy addition. You don't have to start from scratch every time, which is a small but significant time saver. The interface is clean and straightforward. You can easily upload a document, assign signers, and track the progress. It's intuitive enough that you don't need much of learning curve to get started. It's worth mentioning that the platform uses encryption to keep your files secure. While I didn't dive into technical details, this is an important factor for anyone dealing with sensitive information. Now, while the Breeze Doc has a lot going for it, it's not perfect. Here are a few things I think you should keep in mind. Compared to bigger tools like DocuSign, BreezeDoc lacks some additional functionality, some advanced functionality like payment collection or integrations with other software. Depending on the plan you choose, there's a cap on how many documents you can send per month. For most small businesses and freelancers, this won't be an issue, but high volume users might find it limiting. Let's talk about the pricing because this is where BreezeDoc really stands out. With BreezeDoc, you pay once and you are done. Lifetime plans start at $9 with higher tiers plan that goes up to $39 for more documents and additional features. On the other hand, DocuSign operates on a subscription model starting at $15 per month, that's $180 a year, and it only gives you 5 documents per month. So BreezeDoc is a clear winner for that and they also offer a free plan to try out that offers 2 documents per month. So there is no harm in trying and you can do so from the description below. So is BreezeDoc worth it? Honestly, it depends on your needs. For small-scale operations or anyone looking for a cost-effective e-signature tool, it does the job well without unnecessary frills. The interface is easy to use, the pricing is straightforward, and it has just enough features to keep your documents workflow organized. But if you are looking for more advanced functionality or have high volume demands, you might want to explore some other options. Again, you can check out BreezeDoc and DocuSign from the description below. But that's it for today. If you have used BreezeDoc before, then do let me know in the comments below. Now, if you are looking for a way to run Windows on your Mac, then you can watch this video right here. And if you are looking for a way to create custom business email, then there you go. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos like that. Until then, stay safe. Bye-bye.